there, beautiful people. I'm back. It's been a hectic day, hasn't it, John? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me explain. This morning, I'm up on YouTube. I'm going through my videos and everything, and I see that somebody had left a comment for me. Say what, John? About what? Okay, people. Like I was stating, I was going through my comments and everything else up on YouTube. And this dear Mr. John, I'm not even going to say his last name, had left me just a wonderful, wonderful comment. Telling me I did not have, I had a face that should be on radio and not on video. Well, aren't you just special, honey? Bless your little heart. I'm going to have to keep you up in my prayers tonight. You're just so special. Okay. Oh, and by the way, love St. Paul, Minnesota, but some of the people up there Okay, I was supposed to take my husband this morning to my brother's house. That way, my husband could be there with one of my sons today. You know, and they just have their little get-together and everything. Well, that didn't work out. We get up in the car. Okay, let me explain. A few months ago, I had ran over a screw. I took the car to tires to you. They did a patch job up on it, but that didn't work out. So, the salesperson was telling us that the patch will last a year. It's only been a few months. Well, one morning I went to go off to work, and it was down from 33 down to 26. So I was like, well, let me go put a little bit of air up in the tire. By the time I got there, it was rain 19. I still filled it up with air, but it still kept flashing 31, 31, 31, 31. There's no reset button for the tires. So I was like, okay. So let me get back home. My husband had put the spare tire on the car. Well, to our amazement, to our surprise, when we got up this morning and went to leap in the car, the spare tire was flashing. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. So we are like, well, that's not going to work. So he had called Discount Tires. They said that they were strictly doing walk-in bases right now, that they were kind of a little slow. So we were like, okay. So we immediately go up over there, driving as safely as I could, knowing that tire, the spare tire was bad. So we get over there, do our little thing, do our little thing, you know, up on the computer and everything. It didn't really take them that long to change out the tire. But while we were waiting, I mean, that's when the car started to back up in there. Real bad. They were just backing up, and I was like, good Lord, thank God we got here just in time, because it was getting packed, wasn't it, John? Yeah. So, no sooner did we leave there... Other things came up, had to be taken care of. And then my husband's, he wasn't feeling too good. He thinks it might have been due to the heat. Now, granted, we're under a heat wave advisory right now, so the heat index has been in the triple digits. And with him taking his seizure medication, 
and his high blood pressure medication. We're thinking that it might have been some kind of reaction with him being out there in the heat. Even though we were back here by 2 o'clock. Still. It, it, even though I had the AC going in the car. I think it was... Oh, jeez. 96? But that's way before the, even the heat index. I don't even know what it, what the temp is right now. And it's not even 6 o'clock yet. So, it's still freaking heist. But that's beside the point. So, what are y'all doing today? You know what I did? Monday, we had to change out this tire. For the spare tire. Come today, we had to buy a new tire for the car. Why is it whatever I plan for my life does not happen? Mm -mm. Does not happen. What happens is what God plans. Every single time. Hold out both hands. What you want and what God wants. And see which one fills up faster. Y'all come back now, you hear?